Fire TV devices are great. If you have a Fire TV Stick 4K Max like we do, you already know how helpful it is at putting everything you stream in one convenient spot. Yeah, but one of the complaints cord cutters have about Amazon Fire TV devices is they put too much up front. The home screen can feel cluttered and overloaded with Amazon-owned content. Thankfully, there are three simple settings you can adjust to make it easier to get to the apps you watch most. In this video, we show you three Fire TV hacks you can use to set your favorite apps, hide others, and create unique user profiles, which you can further use to customize your Fire TV home screen and user experience. Let's start with how to set your favorite apps. Near the top of the home screen is a skinny bar with spots for six apps. Here you can see what this profile defaulted to, but what if you don't watch these apps? You can customize them with your top streaming services. To change them, use your remote to right arrow over to the icon with three little boxes and a plus sign. Then press the center of the selector wheel on your Fire TV remote to select it. A screen with your apps and channels will appear. The six in your skinny bar are at the very top. To change them, use your remote to hover over the app you'd like to move to the top. We watch Sling frequently, so we'll move that up top. Use the remote to get over to the sling icon, then press the button on your remote that has three lines on it. A menu will appear on the right of the screen with the word move highlighted. Press the center selector wheel to select that option. Then use your remote to move sling up to the spot you want it in the skinny bar. Continue doing this until you have the apps you want up top. When you go back to the home screen, you'll see that the skinny bar is now populated with your apps. If you don't see an app you like on screen, click the app library option to see all apps and add the ones you want to your home screen. Now let's look at a second Fire TV setting you can use to remove apps from your home screen. If you feel Fire TV is too cluttered and want something a little more streamlined, you'll appreciate this hack. Yeah, a streamlined home screen is something many people appreciate about Roku devices over Fire TV devices, but this trick can help improve your experience with Fire TV. And now you may have more than six streaming apps you use regularly. Since only six fit in the skinny bar, this can leave you hunting through the Fire TV home screen to find what you're looking for. Reduce that hunting by hiding apps from the home screen. On the home screen, you'll see a row called Your Apps and Channels. Scroll through that until you see an app you want to hide. Let's say I don't want Amazon News on my home screen. While selected, I press the button on the remote with the three lines on it, just to the right of the home button on the remote, and a menu will appear on screen. Scroll to the bottom of the menu until you see the option to hide from your apps. Selecting that option will remove the app from your Fire TV home screen. Continue doing this until you have hidden all the apps you don't use. This will streamline the apps and channels row, making it easier and faster for you to get to the apps you watch most. There's one more way to customize your Fire TV experience to cover quickly, and that's using profiles. Many streaming apps allow you to create multiple user profiles within them. Doing so lets individual people within a household sharing an account create their own watch lists and histories tailored to what they like to watch. Amazon has made a way for you to do this with Fire TV. The benefit of doing this is that you can customize a skinny bar in your home screen to your preferences. Yeah, so the previous tips we just shared can be applied across profiles so that each profile has its own unique skinny bar, recently watched, and apps and channels row. This is a very easy way to get the most from your Fire TV device. And profiles are very easy to create. You can create up to six Fire TV profiles. There are two ways to access them. Hold down the home button on your remote until a secret menu appears or mouse over to the profile button on the left side of the top menu on the Fire home screen and select it. Select the profiles option, then click the add profile button. You can create a new profile or select one that may pre-populate from your connected Amazon accounts. You can choose to create an adult or kid profile with parental controls enabled. You can also enter a name and icon for each profile. Amazon has some illustrations to choose from, but not as many as I've seen in other streaming apps. Still, it's nice to at least choose a different color to make it easier to see which profile is currently defaulted to within a Fire TV device. When you're done customizing the new profile, click the Add button. And that's it. As you can see, it's easy to customize your Fire TV experience. And this video is a great example of how we may not be getting all we can from our streaming devices. 
And before ditching a device for something more expensive or newer, it's helpful to explore settings to get as much as you can out of what you already have. Yeah, it's just one way you can stretch your streaming budget, something many streamers are dealing with right now. If you're looking for more ways to save on TV every month, watch our video on bundles you can make yourself for $20 or less per month. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. And if you want to stay up on the latest news of the streaming space each week, watch our live streams, which air on Fridays at noon central. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.